Hello, Internet. In this video, I will show you why this letter changes everything about my opinion of Ford Motor Company. Keep watching. Welcome to Scott's Garage. Welcome literally to my garage. If you like some garage time in your off time, if you like do-it-yourself projects, if you like working on your own car, even a project car, if you like organizing your garage, then Scott's Garage is a place for you. All of my do-it-yourself projects begin here in my garage. Welcome to my channel. Now back in January of 2022, I posted a video, dire warning against those who own or think about buying either a Ford Fusion or a Ford Escape 2014 through 2019 with a 1.5 liter EcoBoost motor. The reason I posted that is that this is a 2017 Ford Escape and I bought it in 2019 with less than 20,000 miles. I only put 10,000 miles on it uh, between 2019 and the end of 2021. And I started noticing white smoke puffing out the tailpipe. And also the, the coolant level was, was really low. And did my own research and found out that it was a coolant intrusion problem. I did my own uh, research on it. And that's really what my suspicion was. So I brought it to my local Ford dealer, which was Waxahachie Ford. And sure enough, they diagnosed it as coolant intrusion. And there was, there was a service bulletin, a technical service bulletin. It's right here, uh, 202100. That, that basically Ford admits that the coolant intrusion problem was a design flaw uh, of the motor. That, that, that basically... Uh, in a short amount of time, uh, coolant, it seeps through a, a, a crack in the block and it ends up getting into cylinder number two, I believe, and starts burning coolant. And they put out the service bulletin and the solution, according to the service bulletin, is to replace the small block engine. So I thought, okay, well, it was only two weeks past the five-year, 50,000-mile warranty. And again, keep in mind, I only had 30,000 miles on it. And I thought surely they would extend grace to me. But since I, I didn't buy it new, but um, this was a used car, uh, there was no mercy. And I ended up paying $6,300 out of pocket for the repair. So that's why I posted the video, you know, dire warning, you know, be careful, you know, buyer beware, all those things. And if you saw the video, I was quite upset because I have been a Ford fan for, for years and I have owned several Fords. I've never purchased a brand new Ford, but I've been a loyal Ford customer, including restoring three classic Ford Mustangs. And, and I said something in that video. I said, I will never buy a new or used Ford uh, unless Ford does the right thing. And that be to offer a refund for the, the repair for the, uh, for the coolant intrusion. And that's where this letter from Ford comes in. I received it July 2022. It's important to read letters, not just toss them aside. A very important letter, and it basically said that the EcoBoost has problems with coolant intrusion, that it was their fault, and if you haven't had the repair done, that they would pay for the repair. Or if you had the repair done, uh, take it to where the repair was done with your original receipt, and a Ford would process a complete refund. So immediately after I received the letter in July, I drove to Waxahachie Ford and I spoke to my service advisor, Charlie, and he remembered me, but he also copied my receipt that I brought with me and he filed it. And he said that Waxahachie Ford, the dealership, would call me sometime in August and then that the Ford would, would pay the dealership and then the dealership would pay me. Now, uh, August came and went, didn't hear anything. So in September, I drove there again and I, I spoke to the right person. I spoke to Ashley, and she is the office assistant for the manager of the service advisors there in Waxhatchee Ford. She was definitely the right person to talk to. She knew exactly what to do, and she looked up my file. She saw that I had paid, and basically she got the, the wheels turning, and within a day, uh, she had a, a check for me for the full amount, $6,300, and for that I am very thankful so my opinion of Ford Motor Company and also Waxahachie Ford has changed. Uh, I am once again a, a Ford fan. I will consider purchasing either a new or used Ford in the future. And I just wanted to kind of set the record straight. My video 
back in December was rather negative. I was rather upset, but Ford did the right thing. Um, so, hey, I, if you own a Ford Escape and the repair has not been done, I would say take it in right away. Get that repair done. It is does, will not cost you anything. I hope you got some value from this video. If you got any value at all, please give me a like. It costs you nothing, but it's of great value to me. And as always, have a great day.